Welcome. All right, I love these types of problems um, because when I look at my C, there's not many factors that multiply to give you 13. Actually, there's only two of them, right? So this one's going to be pretty basic. I'm going to do this one in my head. I'm going to talk my way through it for you. But um, we don't need to write down and get all this you know, factors and stuff like that, because there's only two numbers that multiply to give you negative 13. That is either a positive 1, negative 13, or a negative 1 and positive 13, right? Because they can't both be negative. They can't both be positive. One has to be positive, and one has to be negative. And the only two factors are 1 and 13. So to determine which factors are going to be the ones that we're going to choose, we look at our middle term. Because remember, we want to add those two factors. And when we are, I'm sorry, add those, two, yeah, we're going to add those two factors. And if we're going to add those two factors, we have to get a positive 12x. Well, obviously, if we add a negative 13 and a positive 1, that's going to give us a negative 12x. So the larger of the factor is going to have to be positive, And the larger of two factors between 13 and 1 is 13. So therefore, to solve this, again, obviously, we set this equal to 0. And then we know our first two factors are going to be x and x. And then what I simply need to do is, well, I know that the larger of factors is going to be positive 13 and negative 1. It doesn't matter which order you uh, put them in. And now I can use my 0 prac property. So I can say x plus 13 equals 0 and x minus 1 equals 0. Now solve for x. So I subtract 13 on both sides, add 1 on both sides. Therefore, x equals a negative 13 and x equals 1. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve your quadratic. Thanks.